It's called uh, Derin Kuyu, and it's uh, a marvel of engineering. The bottom line here is, just to throw it out there, they don't know who built it. The city of Derin Kuyu had been somewhat of a myth, and um, they ended up finding it. Because this is not a tunnel, this is an underground city. City. The discovery of the underground city of Derinkuyu in Turkey is one of the most fascinating archaeological finds of the 20th century. In an extraordinary twist of fate, scientists discovered an underground civilization that had remained untouched for thousands of years, hidden beneath the surface of the earth. This remarkable city, uncovered purely by chance in 1963, led to a series of investigations revealing its vast extent and complex structure. The discovery story itself is steeped in mystery and serendipity, contributing to the intrigue surrounding this ancient subterranean metropolis. What secrets did this hidden world hold, and how did it remain concealed for so long? In 1963, a local resident in the Nevseha province of central Turkey was renovating his home in the town of Derinkuyu when he stumbled upon a hidden room behind a wall. As he continued to dig, he realized that this room was not an isolated chamber, but rather the entrance to a labyrinthine network of tunnels and rooms carved into the soft volcanic rock. This accidental discovery quickly attracted the attention of archaeologists and historians, eager to explore what lay beneath. When researchers began to excavate and study the site, they uncovered an extensive underground city that extended to a depth of approximately 85 meters. The city was found to have 18 levels, although not all levels are currently accessible. Each level served a different purpose with residential quarters, communal kitchens, stables, storage rooms, chapels, and even a school. The sheer size and complexity of Derinkuyu astonished the archaeological community and raised numerous questions about the city's origins and its builders. The mysterious nature of Derinkuyu's discovery added to its allure. Unlike many ancient cities that were discovered through systematic archaeological efforts, Derinkuyu was revealed by a simple act of home renovation. This serendipitous discovery led to the realization that the region's landscape, dotted with hills and valleys, concealed a vast underground world built by ancient hands. Upon its discovery, Derinkuyu immediately became a site of intense study. Archaeologists found that the city could accommodate an estimated 20,000 people, along with their livestock and provisions. The city's design included ventilation shafts, which provided fresh air to the deepest levels, and a complex water system that ensured a reliable supply of drinking water. The presence of such advanced infrastructure suggested that it was not just a temporary refuge, but a fully functioning subterranean city designed for long-term habitation. Inside, researchers uncovered numerous artifacts that provided insights into the lives of its ancient inhabitants. These included pottery, tools, religious icons and inscriptions. The artifacts indicated that the city had been used for various purposes over the centuries, including as a place of refuge during times of war and invasion. The strategic location of Derinkuyu, in the heart of Cappadocia, made it an ideal hideout for early Christians fleeing persecution from the Roman Empire. One of the most intriguing aspects of Derinkuyu is its sheer size and the volume of material that had to be excavated to create it. It is estimated that several thousand tons of rock were removed to carve out the city's intricate network of tunnels and rooms. To put this into perspective, the volume of excavated material would have been comparable to that required to construct the Great Pyramid of Giza. This monumental feat raises questions about the technology and manpower available to the ancient builders, the size of this cave is often compared to other large underground structures, such as modern subway systems or military bunkers. However, unlike these contemporary constructions, Derinkuyu was built without the aid of modern machinery or engineering techniques. The builders relied on basic tools and manual labor to achieve this extraordinary feat. The city's design, with its narrow passageways and hidden entrances, also suggests a high level of strategic planning and knowledge of defense tactics, among the many theories about its purpose, one of the most compelling is that it served as an ancient bunker or fortress. The city's defensive features, including large stone doors that could be rolled into place to block passageways, support this theory. These doors, which weighed several hundred kilograms, could only be operated from the inside, 
providing an effective means of sealing off sections of the city from invaders. The subterranean nature of Derinkuyu also offered protection from aerial attacks, which would have been a significant advantage during times of conflict. The city's hidden location and fortified design made it an ideal refuge for its inhabitants, allowing them to survive sieges and other threats for extended periods. This theory is further supported by the discovery of similar underground cities in the Cappadocia region, suggesting a widespread practice of constructing such refugees in response to external threats. Derinkuyu's discovery opened a window into a mysterious world, prompting numerous theories about its purpose and the people who built it. One interesting theory posits that Derinkuyu was not just a refuge, but a fully functioning underground society capable of sustaining its inhabitants for prolonged periods. The city's comprehensive infrastructure, including kitchens, wine and oil presses, and communal dining areas, supports this notion. The presence of these amenities indicates that Derinkuyu was designed for long-term habitation, not just short-term shelter. Another intriguing theory is that Derinkuyu served as a religious center or a monastic community. The discovery of chapels and religious artifacts within the city points to a strong spiritual dimension to life underground. The early Christians, in particular, are believed to have used Derinkuyu and other underground cities in Cappadocia as places of worship and refuge from Roman persecution. The isolation and security provided by these subterranean complexes would have allowed religious practices to continue in secrecy and safety. The strategic location of Derinkuyu in the Cappadocian landscape also raises questions about its broader significance. Cappadocia, with its unique geological formations and central location, was a crossroads of ancient civilizations. This region saw the rise and fall of numerous empires, from the Hittites to the Byzantines, each leaving its mark on the land. The existence of underground cities like Derinkuyu suggests a long history of adaptation to the region's unique environmental challenges. One of the most mysterious aspects of Derinkuyu is the lack of historical records detailing its construction. The absence of written accounts leaves much of its history shrouded in mystery. Archaeologists and historians have pieced together evidence from various sources, but many questions remain unanswered. For example, it is unclear who initially built Derinkuyu and for what specific purpose. Some theories suggest that it dates back to the Hittite period, while others propose that it was expanded and modified by later civilizations, including the Phrygians and early Christians. The coincidence of Derinkuyu's discovery with the rise of modern archaeological techniques has allowed for more detailed exploration and analysis of the site. Advanced technologies such as ground-penetrating radar and 3D modeling have enabled researchers to map the city's layout and uncover hidden chambers and passageways. These tools have revealed that Derinkuyu is even larger and more complex than initially thought, with new sections and levels still being discovered. The scale of Derinkuyu can be compared to modern cities in terms of population density and infrastructure. For instance, the city of Derinkuyu could house 20,000 people, a number comparable to many small towns today. The material excavated to create Derinkuyu is estimated to be in the range of several hundred thousand cubic meters, akin to removing a small mountain. Among the artifacts discovered in Derinkuyu are items that suggest a high level of craftsmanship and cultural sophistication. These include intricately designed pottery, tools made from advanced materials for the time. One of the most compelling theories about Derinkuyu's construction is that it was a response to climatic or environmental changes. Some researchers suggest that the city was built during a period of significant climate instability, which drove people to seek shelter underground. The stable temperatures and controlled environment of the subterranean city would have provided a haven from extreme weather conditions and natural disasters. Additionally, Derinkuyu's proximity to other underground cities in Cappadocia suggests a network of interconnected refugees. These cities, linked by underground tunnels, would have allowed for communication and trade between different communities. This interconnectedness points to a high level of social organization and cooperation among the inhabitants further supporting the theory that these underground cities were part of a broader strategy for survival and defense. Theories about Derinkuyu's purpose continue to evolve as new discoveries are made. Recent excavations have uncovered additional levels and chambers, suggesting that the city was even larger and more complex than previously thought.